Okay, welcome to Wednesday night's homework for grade 8. Uh, you have one question, so lucky you. And it's an easy one. It says 1 and 1 fifth plus 2 and a quarter. So if I was really going to draw this, it would be 1, let's do pizzas, because I always do pizzas. We'll do 1 pizza plus a fifth of a pizza. I think that looks like a asterisk, I think, if we do it. Plus a fifth of a pizza. That's 1 and 1 fifth plus 2 and a quarter. So the first thing we got to do is kind of visualize what is this question really asking me. It's asking me that. So we know where we're adding fractions, or you should know by now, that the denominator we have, in this case 5 and 4, in order for us to add it properly, they have to be the same denominator. But to make this a little bit more complicated, we're using mixed fractions as opposed to uh, regular fractions. So the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is probably change those to improper. So how many fifths are there? in this particular question. Well, here we have 5 fifths, and here we have 1 fifth. So altogether, that is actually 6 fifths. Plus, how many quarters over here? Well, there's 4 quarters here, there's 4 quarters here, there's 1 quarter here. So altogether, we have 9 quarters. Now, if you didn't have the picture drawn, there is an easier way to figure that out. If you take your um, mixed fraction and multiply the denominator by the whole number, so 5 times 1, that gets you 5, and then add the numerator, that gets you 6. That, will, that number there will give you your numerator of your mixed fraction, and the denominator simply stays the same, so we just have 6 fifths. Again, over here we do 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9, that becomes my numerator, and the 4 stays the same. That's the shortcut for changing uh, mixed fractions to improper. So now we have uh, a, a regular question with 5 and 4 as my denominators. Well, let's make that into equivalent fractions that have the same denominator. Now I'm just going to multiply 5 and 4 to get 20 and use that denominator. 20 is going to be. So what did I do up here? Well, I multiplied that by 4, so I multiply this by 4, I get 24 twentieths. I multiplied this by 5, so I multiply this by 5, I get 45 twentieths. Now that I have them together, I have 24 twentieths plus 45 twentieths is 69 twentieths. That's my answer. But because I started with mixed fractions, I better go back and change that. So how many twentieths are there in 69? Well, there's three of them. That's my whole number. How many are left over? Well, three twentieths would be 60 twentieths. So I have nine twentieths left over. And I say, can I reduce that fraction? No, I can't. So that is actually the final answer that you need to have. 3 and 90 twentieths is the result of 1 and 1 fifth plus 2 and a quarter. Hope you did your homework. Hope you get it. If not, don't worry about it. We'll do a couple more tomorrow and you'll be fine. Have a good night and don't work too hard.